All right, so at this point in time, I'm going to start use, uh, start working with materials. And the first thing that I always want to, want to do with materials is I really want to uh, export my UV maps. So I just basically open up the editor, and I'm going to open up the uh, tools, and I'm going to go render UV template. Now, I'm not worried about two-sided, so I'm going to show overlap. Uh, or I'm not worried about the overlap here because some pieces might be overlapped just the way I built this. And so I'm going to do 1024. Um, if I would put this in a game, it would probably be you know 256 or something like that for a mobile game. Um, I'm going to render my UV template, and that pops up over on my other screen here. And so I'm going to save the image. Now, when you're when you're doing this type of thing, um, you want to really pay attention to where you kind of put things. Now, if I'm going to share this project with someone else, I don't want to have them spend all the time trying the wee length of materials. So I'm going to go in my scene here, and I'm going to say all formats right in here. I'm going to just say all files just to make sure. So here's my max file here. Um, my max file is basically um, train 01 because it crashed and I moved forward. So I'm going to just type this one in as couch and I'm going to say underscore and this is going to be unwrap or I'll just call it UV and then I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I just basically tab down and then I'm going to or I'll, I'm sorry I'm going to save it as a PNG. Um, with a PNG I can save my transparency and then I'll turn it into whatever I need later. Uh, I'm going to basically say OK, OK, and then that is going to close this, and I'm going to minus this. And if I go in my scenes, now with everything already in there, it's just going to link up automatically. So I'm going to take my UV couch here, and I'm going to drag it into Photoshop to open it up, and I'm going to show you basically the UV. Now, uh, because this is a PNG, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer, and if you uh, look at layer one here. I'm just going to pick up mid-tone gray just to uh, fill it in here. And then the I'm going to move this up here and I'm going to lock this layer so I really can't do anything with it. So the first thing actually uh, I'm going to do is just rename this as uh, the UVs. And so that's my UV here. And then this is going to be my base color. And so what I'm going to do with this mid-tone gray really quickly is start with an oversaturate, colorize, and I'm just going to pick a kind of a mid-tone red, uh, something that's in that gray family, and I'm going to say OK. So this is my base color here. Now I'm also going to go into image, and I'm going to mo go to mode, and I'm going to make sure that my RGB and my, my color is in, in the right layer here. So then with this all said and done, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, another panel of, and we're just going to use a hard, hard uh, material, and I'm just going to do kind of a mid-tone brown, something like so. And well, all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start cleaning up and there is my line work for my legs and my next line mark my legs line mark for this leg here I'm just gonna paste this one in paste this one in and like so. Okay, so, and this, the only reason I'm doing this is I'm just basically coloring my spots in where, where my brown is going to kind of be overlaid. So I'm just going to make sure that all my, all my legs are put in here. And at this point, I'm not worried about going outside the lines, and I'll show you why in a second here. Um, so I've pretty much got what I can see is all my all my pieces here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is 
go into uh, we're just going to go into one of my materials here or my my objects here and um, so the next thing I'm going to do is go with the magic wand select the magic wand and go back underneath and because the magic wand is selected I should just be able to hit backspace or delete and I will have all my leg colors in there um, so I'm going to deselect that and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file and I'm going to save it as a uh, Photoshop. Now I'm going to make sure it's sitting in uh, my same same layer here. So I'm going to, I've, I've got it in the desktop scenes area here. And so that's the same area here. And I'm going to call this couch and it's going to be underscore and diffuse. And as a PSD, this is fine. Um, I'm just going to basically be able to go into Max here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my material editor here. M is the shortcut key. And I'm going to create a new material. And I'm simply going to go to Diffuse. We're going to do a bitmap. And we're going to go into Desktop, Scene, here, Couch Diffuse, Collapse Layers. I'm going to drop it on there. It's going to show up when I hit the red, and there is my couch layer. Okay. So with that being said, now um, everything looks um, like it's fitting just fine. And so now what I'm going to do is go back into Photoshop, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start cleaning up some of the layers here. So the uh, I'm going to go to filter, or I'm sorry, select, reselect here, and I'm going to go inverse with this. So under select inverse here, and that basically selects all my objects. So now I can paint and, and do what I want. All right. So here, what I'm going to do is clean up. That's going to be the trim for the base, and I'm going to do the same thing um, here like so now there's a, a, a little bit of a difference variation because of the size so we're gonna have to play with that in a second here and then let's go into like this and I kinda regret not making this one completely straight so because I could hold shift in it and that would work fine. All right, so I'm going to hit save again. Actually, and uh, I'm going to take off my UVs. I'm going to hit save. And just popping back and forth into my main window, as soon as I manipulate it, you will see that things start popping together. Okay, so here is this, and everything looks like it's popping together. Um, this angle here is a little bit crooked. Uh, so what we can do to kind of fix that is all I'm going to do is go up into the brush here, take off my transfer, erase, take off my transfer right now. Um, and I'm just going to straighten this out by holding shift down and kind of go back and forth forth until I get a nice clean line. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And then it looks like the back here um, and back here is a little bit higher. So all I'm going to do is go into here, hold shift in and drag that. Now I'm going to just test this out and save real quick. And then um, so it's save and then you can see kind of the adjustment going on so this looks looks okay um, and so now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna go over here go back into Photoshop here and I'm just gonna undo that hit save and then this over here with my eraser I'm just going to kind of because it's such a, a small variance, 
I'm going to save it, and, and I'm just trying to match these lines here. Um, and if you get pretty close, you'll be pretty pretty happy with it. Uh, and it looks like I'm just coming down to pixels here. And so once you get that in, then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to go into my UVs here. And with my UVs in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And the reason I'm creating a new layer is because both of these are the same size. So what I'm going to do for the new, this new layer here is uh, go into my brush and kind of go up and get that kind of set up like so. And then I'm just going to, there, something like this, very, and, it, and I'm just kind of, um, kind of trimming that out. I think that looks good. And then so what I'm going to do is just duplicate that layer, select transform, and I have no idea why that's, that's a new one. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting the same uh, essential shape there and it doesn't need to be perfect all right and there I'm going to merge that layer and merge that layer and then select deselect um, so now what I've got is I've got my base layer for my wood and for my trim um, and actually you know thinking about this looking at this I'm going to redo some of this so actually I'm going to go to my brush here and I'm going to bring that up and over same thing over here and then what I'm going to do is I've got my top piece here and so I'm going to just put something like this Right, and so that should be the top piece, and then actually, that's in the wrong spot. I'm pretty sure it's in the wrong spot. So, what I'm going to do is actually just grab this one long piece here and just move it here like so, so transform okay so now with this in there I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to hit save and I should be able to go back to my 3D Max scene and you can see now that this has got a little bit of a trim um, goes all the way around and I think I'm going to do just the same thing down here on the edges. And there, be that basically is my, I started my couch here. So again, go back to Photoshop and find my seats. So I'm just going to go into brush here. So, all right, Maybe a little bit thicker. Okay, so with that done, um, hitting save and just again looking at it in in uh, uh, 3D Studio Max. Just make sure your things line up and you're pretty happy with the way things are, but. Uh, essentially that is that is the base of my uh, essential color scheme here now from here I'm going to start a, a series of shading and a series of um, 
highlights so that it basically pops out different things and you can kind of see what's going on. All right. And so it's essentially just uh, we're going to go into the UV maps here and we're going to start painting. Now, uh, with these two layers locked, what I'm going to do, show my UVs here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is go into um, here. And I'm just going to kind of select this piece here. All right. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to create a highlight system real quick because this is the, the base of my couch. So above this, above the couch, I'm going to create two new layers. One layer is going to be called um, shadows. And the other layer, I'm going to just create a new layer with a shortcut, is going to be called highlights. All right. And then above that, I'm going to go to layer two, which is this is my trim. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to call this one shadows, and a new layer, and call it highlights. All right, so with this V set here, I'm going to, uh, the shadows are going to be a multiply, and the tr highlights are going to be a either an overlay or a lighten or a screen, depending on what I feel works best. So we're just going to do a screen in this case. And we're going to do, again, multiply. And again, uh, we're going to do a screen here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold in the uh, Alt-Shift button here above this. And you can just click on the middle layers here. And what that does is it sets them in, and now they're a masking layer. Um, why would you do this? Well, the simple thing is I don't have to worry about uh, painting on top of things and, and kind of trashing what I already have. So I'm just going to grow my size here. I'm going to take a, a soft pressure. And um, now what I'm going to do is just start painting in the couch. So I'm going to be in the, the highlights here. And that's way too dark. So we're just going to... choose the same color here in the shadows and actually let's uh, I'm not happy with this okay so all I'm going to do is I'm holding shift Make sure I'm in the shadows. I'm going to hold shift, and it's just a kind of to the center, like so. And that is going to give me my base shadow for my, um, for my level here. And I'm just going to, I don't like how dark this is, so I'm just going to kind of shift the lower the, the the percentage here um, and then what I'm going to do is let's see here we're going to go in and I'm going to just grab this piece here and we're just going to do a just noxiously large brush here and I'm just going to center this in and that's going to give me kind of that that layer in the background and then I'm going to uh, deselect this. And let's see here. I'm going to also do, let's do a lower one here. Oops, that. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to do a lower one here. And I'm just going to grab that. And that's going to be a shadow there. And then this is my seat here. So I'm just gonna I'm I'm masking things off that just make it make life simpler. So I've got my seat here and I'm just gonna go into here and kind of brush that off. Now, why have I done all that? Um, actually we're gonna do a little bit more here. I'm gonna 
select, deselect. So I'm going to go here. And just a little bit. All right, like so. And there we go. We're going to test this out. I'm going to just hit save. And we're going to jump over to our screen here. And as soon as I move, oops, as soon as I move, and if I take off my edge facing, what I'm now seeing is I'm starting to see the shape and form come up. Now there's a little bit of uh, pixel bleed and, and things like that in there that I need to go in and clean up. Um, but what's happening is I'm starting to get this just a very small sense of, of kind of things popping out a little bit more. Um, I need to go in and, and clean up some of this and that. But essentially the uh, pixels are slowly being filled in and um, I've got a nice base going on. So what I'm going to do, go to here and uh, I'm just going to go to eraser and uh, make sure the hardness is down and I'm just going to clean that up so all right let's go to that that looks good and from there what I'm going to do is essentially with that in place with that idea and I can go you know I can go darker here or I can go lighter now with that same color chosen I can go here and we're just going to go and I'm just going to hold shift in. All right, so there is that highlight. Uh, we're going to add in just a just base highlight here. And we're going to add in a base highlight here, but I'm going to make sure I block this out real quick here. Go back into my brush. Like so. And okay, so with that all said and done, what I need to do is go here. And now these colors are way too bright. I can play with the, the information here. But with what I've got going on is you can start seeing how things start lightening up. All right. And uh, my main goal is to basically get it so that um, I have no sense of those hard edges and my, my seams have disappeared. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, and if you look at the bottom here, that's you know, pretty standard bottom. And we're not going to worry too much about the bottom because of the simple fact that it is all being done through uh, textures and stuff like that. So now I'm going to go into my trim and we can do kind of the same same thing here for the the trims and I'm going to just basically go into the brush uh, undo go back here now with this I'm going to just clean up some of this here making sure I'm on the hardness mode um, and like so and I'm just um, going in the UVs and I'm just doing it real quickly just to, I can be a little bit outside the UVs I don't like the way the UVs kind of turned out so um, the, they kind of killed a little bit of my they, they left some pixels and so I'm just gonna go back in kind of do the same thing here okay so now with that said and done um, the next thing to do is uh, to start 
basically start uh, putting in kind of a trim that makes sense uh, with your uh, with your information here. So I'm just kind of going in and cleaning up this real quick. Um, and I think I've got pretty close to everything together. I just want to clean up those pixels. I'm not too worried about it if it's overlapping here, but I just want to make sure those pixels look good together. All right, um, so the next thing you're going to do is, with your shadows on, um, we can start adding in little bits and pieces. And so what that basically means is, I'm going to go to hardness over here, and I'm going to just do this. We're just going to go real big. I'm going to do this on... Like so, break this down, and now with these shadows here, I know this is really dark, and we can always lighten that up, and I'm going to have to go in and clean up some of this here. Okay. So that looks essentially good. So I'm going to just go in with the eraser and we're going to clean up. Oops. Wrong. Always, always use the right tools. So I'm going to just go in with the eraser and kind of shift clean that up. Um, really simple. Oops. And clean that up. And clean that and clean this. Okay, so now that that's done, what I'm going to do is I want more of a hard edge on here. So I'm going to just go back into my hardness, actually go in my paintbrush, go back into my hardness. And so I'm going to just take a little bit of a, a trim edge here. And I'm just going to go something like so. Um, same thing here. I'm going to be, this is going to be a little bit lower because of the size relationship difference. And then do this. Let's do that. And then I'm going to do the same material texture here. And that's going to be a highlight. So I'm going to grab the top here. And that's going to be the highlight right there. And this is my back here. So I'm going to just clean up this for a highlight. And clean up this. Okay, so with that in there, uh, I'll save it off again. And we're going to go back into here. And so as you can see, I, you know, a little bit, little bit of cleaning up to do, a little bit of figuring out. But as you can see now, things start popping up. Um, you know, the, the layers are defined a little bit more. Um, the objects are, are cleaning up. Um, I'm getting a sense of how this is kind of put together. Um, and then what I can do is I can do actually very simple things. And I'm going to go real quick here, go into my map here and show my UVs on. And then what I'm going to do is with my UVs on, uh, what I'm going to do are, are some really simple things. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and kind of work with um, a new shadows layer. So I'm going to go in and pick this base color and I'm going to do a new layer. It's going to be clipping mask 
and I'm going to go back into multiply here and the reason I'm doing this is because I've got uh, a different different set of layers and things like that that I'm going to do here so the first thing I'm going to do is go in and I'm just going to draw a seam in there and kind of draw my seam in there do one like so one like that and we're going to draw it down here and same thing over here and all right so with that in place uh, that's kind of my initial seam. I'm not worried about my back so much, but I'm going to need to worry about this part right here. So I'm just going to draw some seams right up in there. And like so. And it doesn't seem like much now, but then I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to clone it and I'm going to um, go into filter, go into blur, and then go to Gaussian blur. And you, it doesn't seem like much, but we're just going to blur this. And I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to filter Gaussian blur. And I'm going to do it again. And filter Gaussian blur. So now, merge these two down, and filter, Gaussian blur, and so now with that, what I've got is a sense of, um, I'm going to just merge those two together, what I've got is a sense of kind of uh, the color together here, so I'm going to just make sure, I'm going to go to hardness, and we're just going to lower the opacity a little bit and just start. Oops, I don't want to blur those out. I want to. All right, I'm going to make sure that's on multiply. All right, so with these layers in effect, and all I'm doing is just really quickly hand painting this in there. Um, and then I'm going to go into this layer here, and I'm going to go with the eraser tool, soft, and I'm going to do pen pressure real quick here. So I'm going to do transfer on there. I'm just going to kind of erase some of that highlight in there so it's not so in your face. All right. And just going to do a little bit of Gaussian blur on there yet, a couple more times. And when I hit save, so now it's saved. So then what I've got is when I move over here, I've got starting of cushions. All right, so I can see how things are kind of put together. And they're not perfect by any means. I need to lower the opacity on them. I need to start playing with a little bit more. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to start kind of cleaning up and things are going to kind of look a little bit uh, tighter. Um, so those are just definitely things that I want to kind of look at. And I still have some pixels to clean up here and there. Uh, but you can see things starting to pop together and you get more of a sense of construction of them. All right. And, you know, I'm, I'm still not liking this edge here. It's very harsh. I'm going to see what I can do about that. Um, maybe if I go into, let's try this once. Um, 
select this and I'm going to go into and collapse this say collapse all say yes as long as I don't manipulate the geometry it'll still maintain its polygons but what I'm going to do is go in here And scroll down into my smoothing groups. We're just going to crank that up and auto smooth it. And then get out of polygon mode and add my UV map on there. And everything's still just fine and dandy. All right, so I'm going to continue painting this in the next layer. Um, in the next level, I'm gonna, or next next uh, video, I'm going to keep painting this, and we're just going to start cleaning up and adding even more detail. All right.